Well, thank you all for spending your Sunday um, with us. My name is Liz Horn, and I'm taking a sort of a different tactic, talking about building a biobank and some of the nuts and bolts. I'm a scientist, but I spend a lot of my time working in the rare disease space and with patient advocacy organizations and people who aren't necessarily originally trained in science and how to do these types of initiatives. So one thing that we've seen that's been happening over the past few years but is really coming to a head is that the biobanking world is evolving. And we used to be thinking about single condition, siloed collections, individual governance, very limited standardization, limited data, and limited role of subjects. And now we've moved into multi-condition, cross-disease biobanks, models for shared infrastructure, group governance, increased standardized protocols for data and samples, robust data from multiple sources, and the dynamic involvement of consumers, advocates, and citizen scientists. And some of the things that have allowed us to move into this space is the improvement in technology, but also um, our knowledge of biospecimen science, much of which has been driven by the work at OBBR. And this really is a time of great opportunity, but collaboration is key. Because if we create siloed collections that sit in individual freezers that nobody knows exists, we're not going to get anywhere. And if the patients that donated those samples knew that their samples were not being used, they would just be mortified. And I mean, I know we think about the science all along, but th there's sort of a, a people component to it as well. So we have to collaborate in order to move this forward. And collaboration can be difficult, especially in some of the funding challenges we're having today. But it also gives more opportunity for collaboration because I think people are more open to it. So when you're thinking about biobanking, there are a number of planning considerations that you need to think about. And I think it was really helpful as we went around the room and everyone talked about where they're coming from. And everyone's in really different spots, which will be wonderful for networking and having conversations together. But this is just sort of a high-level overview of things you should think about. What are you going to collect? Um, what associated data will you collect? Um, both the data on the person donating the sample as well as the pre-analytical data that we just talked about. How will they be collected? How and where will they be stored? Who's going to manage the, the collection? Who can access the collection? Who will advise you? And with any initiative, there are resource considerations and financial considerations. And sometimes there are constraints because of, of the individual situation. And so every biobank um, needs a business plan to really help think through these issues. So this is one of my favorite um, cartoons. It's really from um, computer programming. And it's all about someone trying to build a swing and what the user asked for, how the analyst saw it, how the system was designed, how the programmer wrote it, what the user really wanted, and how it actually works. So we didn't end up with a swing. We ended up cutting down the tree to make a swing. And I think this is a really important illustration that we can't plan too much, and we also have to communicate with each other to make sure that the words and the terms that we're using are, are meaningful. Because then as you embark in this space, you'll be working with a lot of different experts. And especially when you're working with your IT experts and how we're collecting data, we really need to make sure we're all on the same page. So when you're thinking about a biobank, um, there are sort of, I like to think about it as in three different, three separate buckets. And again, it could be really subdivided in a lot more. But there's the space around collection, the space around processing and storage, and the space around access. And I think that we spend a lot of time thinking about how to get things into a collection.